I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call the exercise Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to make fast decisions. It's a great way to test yourself. And also, if you like to play online, many times you play on a timer, and if you don't make a decision quick enough, the game will discard for you. You don't want that to happen. So if you have tiles at home, practice. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have a stopwatch app on my smartphone. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We are going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So I will get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I will also create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each iteration. I would play consecutive run, building round four. Let's let that west go. One, two, three, four. Let's let, let's see, one, two, three, four, dragon, two, five. Let's let the two and the five go. Whoa, fives. I hope nobody would pass a pair like that. It happens. Here's... Four five four five four five four five eight one two dragon four five consecutive run let's see here let's pass the one the two and the eight oh wait a minute we could play one through five let's let this two go wait let's let the three go Ooh. okay no keepers here let's break that up a little bit We got a five. We do have four, five, five. I don't think I would keep it though. I would let these go. Five, five. We've got lots of fives. I think I would let the two go. Here's a two. We can use this for the missing three. Now here we have four, five, six, four, five. We could play four, five, four, five, six concealed. Four, five, four, five, six concealed. But I want to use that Kong. I think I would go with one through five. No keepers there. I would pass those. Lap. Okay, so we have one through five. We have a gap, but we're building around this Kong. Now we could hold four, five, four, five for a little while and let those go. But I think one through five is not bad, even though we have a gap. Because we can use jokers there. Pair, pair, pong, pong, Kong. First hand under consecutive run. We have nines, a dragon, nine. Let's keep wins and dragons. One, two, three, though. There's a one, two, three consecutive run. One, two, three consecutive run. So we'll go with that. West, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, dragon, flowers. Let's pass these three. 
Oh, dragon. One, seven, one, two, three, pair of nines. Oh, dragons. Dragon, flowers. Let's pass these three. Flower. Oh my goodness. Maybe we should play a quint. I should have kept the dragon. Okay, no keepers there. Whoa! What in the world? Fives. We're going to pass these three. Whoops! I'm just making a big mess. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. Optional cross. Let's see if we can get a dragon. We did. Lap. Dragons. Check it out. Quint. We've got five flowers. We could quint that. We need to build up our dragon. If you give up a tile in the Charleston, you could get it back. We could play a quint. Okay, no multiples. East, one, four, seven, eight, two, four, seven, eight, one, five, eight, nine. We have all the eights. I'm thinking consecutive run for flexibility. Five through nine. Five through nine. Okay, let's pass these three. There's a nine. Seven, eight, nine. Six, six, seven, eight, nine. We really don't need that five. Six through nine. Nine, seven. We have three tiles to pass. That is very risky. We have a nine. I would start there, really. Nine, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, nine. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Let's let this nine go. This is a little risky. Uh oh. We gotta keep her. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's risky. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Let's break that up there. Oh, we need that. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's what I would focus on. Here we go. No keepers. Let's see. Two, eight, five. That's all right. Nine, eight, nine. 
six, seven, eight, nine. I think that is pretty strong. Let's see. Let's pass one of each suit. No keepers. Lap. <laughs> Four minutes. I dropped a tile. We'll figure it out. Six, seven, eight, nine. I wouldn't, I don't think I would use that, but we could do seven, eight, nine. I think I would just keep everything. Here's another nine. There's even an eight. Look at all that six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine is probably the strongest. But I think I would keep these anyway, just to see what comes in. But we could pung, pung, kong. We just need to build up the eight. All right. Let's see if we can figure this out. When you do this exercise, try not to drop any tiles. That will mess up your timing. Let's see how things went with these prints. Sprint one, two minutes, 23 seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 46. Sprint three, when I dropped the tile and then I couldn't find it. Four minutes. I'll adjust it based on when I put the tile back on my rack. If you're new to this game, give yourself four minutes to make decisions for each sprint. When you're comfortable at four minutes, take it down to three minutes. Do sprints with three minutes and when you're comfortable at three minutes, push yourself to make decisions in under two minutes. Then you can play comfortably online or maybe even in a tournament. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.